Arkansas Today. Welcome back. Our friend Wild Woman Kirsten Bartlow is here from Arkansas Game and Fish talking today about cypress trees in honor of Arbor Day. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Mallory. Always great to have you here. Cypress trees, really beautiful trees. They're super cool. If I had to pick a favorite right now, I'm going to have to say it's a cypress tree. Mm -hmm. And if you want to see one in Arkansas, they live in the southern and eastern part of the state. Okay. So like Pat talked about, though, we've had a lot of rain over there. Mm -hmm. So actually the largest cypress tree is also the largest tree in Arkansas and it lives in the White River National Wildlife Refuge. How, how big is it? It's huge. <laughs> I can't even explain how big it is. Wow. So it's got like a 42 foot circumference and it's really big. So wow. don't try and go see it right now. The roads and the trail are flooded, but I've got some okay. backup ideas for you. Okay. Little kids, if you've ever hiked the Kingfisher Trail, mm -hmm. Pinnacle Mountain State Park, a great yes. place to go see cypress trees. And then the Game and Fish Commission, we've developed a number of water trails around the state. So places you can go paddle right up to cypress trees. Oh, that's amazing. So, uh, the Little Maumelle River is a great spot to hit. Um, mm -hmm. Grassy Lake water trails in the Mayflower area. And I could go on and on. Just go to agfc.com and you can find out about those water trails. And so you say right now cypress trees are your favorite. What makes them your favorite tree? Well, wildlife loves cypress trees. So you can see all kinds of things living in and around and all mm -hmm. the nooks and crannies on the trees. For instance, herons right here, great blue herons, this time of year are building their nests. And they have, they're called rookeries and all their nests are uh, poking up out of those cypress limbs. Mm. Um, bald eagles come back to them year to year. Beautiful little yellow prothonotary warblers nest in the cavities inside the trees. So lots wow. of neat things. Oh, and look at that. That's <laughs> really cool. That's on one of our water trails. I believe that's on Bio de View uh, water trail. They have these big buttressed base to them and that's like, a, it looks like a pair of bell bottoms mm -hmm. on the bottom of the tree. So and also check out all those knees. Wow. They grow those knees eh, maybe to help uh, access oxygen during floods, also mm. to help support the tree in that soggy soil. So lots of fun to look at, lots of neat wildlife around them. And they played an important role in history. They did, especially you know here in the south, which is where they grow. The inner part of the cypress tree has this oil that keeps it from rotting. So mm. antebellum homes were made out of cypress trees, that heartwood, boats were made out of them. Now, because of that, hundreds of thousands of acres of trees were logged at the early 20th century. Wow, so. how interesting. And what did you say again, the trail where you could see them at uh, Pinnacle? Uh, that's the Kingfisher the Trail. The Kingfisher Trail. And that's, you know, it's, I guess it is spring break week, isn't yes, it? So that's it a nice break. little trail to go check out. And they've also got canoes and kayaks that you can rent there and go do a little paddle if you'd like to see them from the water as well. Uh, Pinnacle Mountain is a great yeah. place to be for spring break. Yep. We have a few days this week. Most of our spring break days are going to be gorgeous. So yeah, Pinnacle absolutely. will be the place to be. Absolutely. Get out and check out some cypress yes, trees. Yes, we yeah. live in a beautiful state. Enjoy it. And we are All back right. with your spring break forecast when we come back. Kristen, thank you.